everyone, Derek Johnson with Tatango.com. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick uh, strategy that you can use for your text messaging campaigns that some of the biggest brands use like Subway to increase their overall promotion results. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to uh, take my phone, I'll throw it up over here. Okay, good. And what I'll do is I'm going to go to one of their messages. It's a great example of what they're doing. Okay, so as you can see here, I received a message on, the first one is on January 8th. The second message is on January 13th. It's gonna matter, just wait a second. So first one, January 8th, uh, we're chipping in to make a meal, free chips with any sub or wrap, uh, and then expires uh, January 14th, so 1-14. Okay, that's the link there for the promotion. Now that's where most uh, brands stop. That's it. They send out the message. The consumer, you know, knows it expires on 114, and then maybe on 117, 118, they send a new promotion. Well, Subway does something very interesting, which anybody can copy, uh, and you'll get a pretty good result from actually copying their strategy. So, and also your customer is going to love it too. I'll explain why. So, what they do is before the promotion ends, they send a reminder message telling people that hey. That promotion we messaged you on uh, January 8th is expiring tomorrow. So in this example, uh, it expired January 14th. They messaged in the morning on January 13th, and they said, you still have time to enjoy the, la the latest Subway offer. Click the link to find out more. It expires 114. Now, as you can see, you know it's, it's a good strategy, but it's very, um, it's very important to know that you don't want to just copy the same message because then it looks like almost something like an error has happened. If it just said, we're chipping in to make it a meal, it would just be like, why are they sending me this message twice? People don't say that though. If it looks different and it essentially says, hey, you know, the offer we sent you is expiring. You have maybe one or two days left. So uh, this is a great example. What I like doing um, for all those text message marketers out there is subscribe to as many SMS campaigns as you can, including your own, obviously, and just watch what brands are doing. There's nothing wrong with copying them, um, and some of these strategies work very, very well, uh, and that's why they continue to do them message after message. So try this on your next uh, message. Send out a message with an expiration date, maybe seven, you know, eight days before it expires, and then one, two days, or even, you know, 12 hours or whatever, you know, kind of business you are, what feels right, you know, for your consumer and what you're selling. Send a message out before it expires and say, you know, again, mix up the message and say, hey, just a reminder, you know, that thing we sent you, you know, or we talked about last week is expiring tomorrow. Click this link or come in, you know, to purchase, something along those lines. It will increase uh, the overall conversions of any promotion because you're going to get people on that second reminder message converting. So it's just going to increase the conversions for the overall promotion uh, like Subway is doing here. If you guys have any questions or if you have another SMS marketing tip that you would like to share with us that we can put on video, uh, leave it in the comments below. We'd love to talk to you guys. Again, my name is Derek Johnson with Tatango.com and this has been an SMS marketing tip essentially brought to you by Subway. Thank you